she tasting the Kool-Aid. Me go the plug Guadalupe. She gon' do what the group take a print day. Caliente. She get the bag, but she gotta get it ten ways. I'm hungry. Wanna go get some tacos? It's Taco Tuesday. You wanna see if this coffee wants to go? Yeah, let's go get it. Where do you wanna to go today? I have some ideas. Put your face on the shirt, shirt. Yeah, have a flavor giving away since birth. Bert. My name is Jose. Hey. Here, guess what? what? It's Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Let's go. You ready? Get ready to go. I forgot all about it, you guys, and I have a meeting today. On Taco Tuesday? Why don't we just pick it up and we'll bring it back for you? We'll surprise you with where we're going to go. Are you sure? So, what do you want? Steak? Chicken? Yeah. Chicken? Yeah. And then. My favorite is Pastor. Pastor. All right. All right. We're running. We got you. Oh my God. I'm so excited. All right. All right. All right. I like what you're watching, by the way. Oh, thanks. She's going to do what the group's like a print day. Caliente. She get the bag, but she got to get it 10 ways. Okay, now underlay, underlay. What the money make? Money make it elevate. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Taco Tuesday. For our third stop, we are going to Tacos El Superior. Let's go. Put in work, put your name on the skirt, skirt, skirt. D diamond, get the wiggle like the flirt, flirt, flirt. The gay, put your face on the shirt, shirt. Been having flavor, giving way since birth. My name Jose. It's a long line at the doorway. What's up in taco? Getting up with the nacho. Fucking with a bad vibe, but she go both ways. Can up the racks up a show day. I never ever see a broke day. Looking to the eyes of the go face. The gang in the real, it's a four way. Okay, so now we're here with our tacos, El Superior tacos. And when I. Give a shout out to our special guest with the idea, Mr. Gonzalez. Hi everyone. Uh, I felt like the best tacos are from Tacos El Superior. I like how you say that too. Oh, thank you. That sounds good. I just, I'm already gonna vote better just because of that. I think so too. All right, so we'll eat and then we'll let you know how it goes. Alright you guys, so it's time for us to do our rankings and we'd like to invite you Mr. Gonzalez to do the ranking with us, um, but we can't include it in our totals, so I understand. Okay. thank you, thank you, thank you for understanding. So We're the I control like to, group. Exactly. <laughs> um, You're the experimental group. Right, okay. Yeah. I'm the outlier. See how we did that? Yes. Um, okay, Mr. Gonzalez, um, on a scale from one to five, five being like the best taco you've ever had and one being the worst, or close to the worst, um, then uh, what, how did you feel about the carne asada? That one was pretty good. I, I really like that one. Mm, I'll give that one a... 3.75. Whoa. Okay. Good really thing, right, thing right. he's not in the group. The decimal system over here. All right. What did <laughs> you like about it? I just need a little feedback. Uh, well, the salsa helps a lot. I, the, the combination of the salsa and kind of like, it wasn't too dry. Mm -hmm. that, that What's the really word for that? Um, moist. Moist. Yeah, that's, <laughs> okay. that's good. I like Sorry, the I moist having... taco. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. What was it? <laughs> uh, I, I love moist tacos. <laughs> okay, so Gomez, what was your feeling? Uh, on the carne asada, I um, I'm with him. Like these salsas, that red is that was good. good, and it's hot. Um, the green is not as hot, but it has great flavor. So I, it was a combination of the same of the two for me. Um, I'm gonna say for the carne asada, uh, three and a half. Um, it, it, it was, you know, pretty moist. The tortilla, I, I thought the tortilla was okay, but maybe that was kind of one of my reasons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for the carne asada taco, <clears throat> I'm going to give it a three and a half as well. It was good. It was probably one of my... Oh, I'm not going to go too far. It was a good taco. I thought it was a good combination with the salsa. Um, the tortilla was a little bit... I think it was kind of tough. It just it didn't. It wasn't the best combination, but the meat itself was good. So I'm gonna give it a three and a half. Okay, and then um, I'll say for carne asada, I'm gonna say a three. Um, it was just okay. Like it was, it was a taco. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So next, um, Mr. Gonzalez, um, how did you feel about the chicken? 
The chicken taco. It was like a regular chicken taco. I'll give it like a, a three. Uh, nothing really stood out about it. I used the other sauce, this green sauce. That was good. I'm I'm with you. I I, I give it a three and a half. It was it was a good taco. Um, it wasn't spectacular. Um, it was definitely good, uh, but it was a tiny bit dry. Again, I think it goes back to that tortilla, but three and a half with the salsa. I'm gonna stay there. Okay. I'm gonna go a three for the chicken <clears throat> because I felt like it was a little bit dry, like Ed said. It was good. It tastes good combination with the salsa and everything else, but the chicken itself was a little bit dry. So I'll give it a three. And I'm gonna give it a three as well. So it's the same. Nothing out of the ordinary. It was an okay chicken taco. All right, Gonzalez, your specialty, specialty taco? Oh, the Al Pastor taco? Yeah. I'll give that one a, a two and a half. It seemed like it needed like a little bit more like sauce or flavoring. The uh, pieces of meat were like a little big. And um, yeah, and then the tortilla didn't. I don't know, it was already dry, and then the tortilla was kind of dry. So, two and a half. Tough crowd. I know, that for real. But he says it the right way. He says tacos el sweet. Like he said, he doesn't say he doesn't say el pastor. Right. He says yeah. yeah. He says it the right way. El pastor. Right. <laughs> so um, for me, my specialty taco was the chorizo again this week, um, and I gave that a four. I thought it had good flavoring. Um, again, the salsas helped, but I think it still goes back to that tortilla. There was good flavoring on it, um, but I think the combination of everything, I'm going to stick with four. So for my specialty taco, I had El Pastor as well, but I liked it. That was my favorite of the three tacos. <clears throat> the pineapple was good with it. The sauces were good with it. So I'm going to give it a four. I actually liked it. Okay, I, I'm going to lean more because mine was Pastor too. I'm towards Mr. Gonzalez's, the other Mr. Gonzalez. The that means you. Gonzalez with a Z. The Z, not the S? With a Z, yeah, because um, I also felt like, well, my, some of the chunks of the meat were like really big and it was kind of weird. Um, it was like too much information and it was dry and I, I ended up having to add, usually like you don't have to add a lot of salsa to it, but for that one I had to add salsa. So I'm gonna give it a 2.5. I was not, it's my favorite type of taco. And so maybe my expectations are really high, but um, 2.5. Okay, so um, then are you ready to give your totals, you guys? Yeah, okay. well he's not giving hits, right? No. Okay. So, um, cool. no, you can't. No, you can't. You can no, you're, you're, you're good. It's fine. It's fine. So, um, Gomez, your total was? Gonzalez with an S. Your total is? My total is? And so, all together, our final total is? <sighs> Join us next week for Taco Tuesday where we see what the best taco in the AV is. And if you have any recommendations for taco trucks or taco places, let us know in the comments and we'll be sure to go there.